So this is a movie about Oscar Wilde and primarily the last couple of years of his life. And I gotta be honest, I knew basically nothing about him. Never read his work, I don't think. And yeah, just in general, knew very little about his story. But apparently he was gay and sentenced to two years of hard labor for it. Ouch. I mean, that's some brutal shit right there. And of course his whole life and career were ruined too. You know, just as a cherry on top. And that's basically where this movie picks up. With him getting out of prison. Well, not really, because it jumps back and forth. And actually starts a bit later, when he's in a really bad spot. And it's a kinda heart-wrenching story. Going from being one of the most successful playwrights in the world, to someone who's basically shunned by his family and society as a whole. And all because of sexual orientation. Well, it's a bit more than that. But that's really the heart of it. But he also seems hell-bent on making the situation worse for himself. Because if you live in a society like that, and you've already lost everything and gone to prison, you'd think most people would try to make the best of it. Just make it work. It's a terrible situation to be in, but you can at least try not to make it worse. But he does. He just makes it worse. So he's essentially his own worst enemy too, in some ways. And I mean, on the other hand, it's understandable too. And I guess the whole movie is basically about a man conflicted and his struggles with himself as much as with the world around him. And the main performance by Rupert Everett, who also wrote and directed it, is pretty damn good. And the supporting cast was very good too. And I'd say it was competently shot. Also, the way they tied everything together with a story he tells the kids, I thought that worked very well. It was a neat little true line, kept everything feeling coherent. But still, I just felt like the movie lacked something fell a bit short, and I don't know why. I don't know what's missing, because the story itself is interesting. The whole scenario and his situation is both fascinating and brutal, and the performance is really good. But at the end of the day, something was missing, and I don't even have any concrete problems with it. I don't have any issues I can point to. Maybe it had something to do with the structure, how they put it together, the way they jumped around with the timeline. Maybe that made it difficult to engage with. I'm not sure, but I took a look at how people in general have liked it. And it's gotten fairly mediocre reviews. So there's obviously some issues here. Unfortunately, I can't really tell you what they are, but they're there. And on paper, I should have liked it a lot more. I still thought it was fine. But as a whole, I can't say it's much more than that. Somehow it ends up being less than the sum of its parts. The individual pieces work, and some of them are great, but then you put them together and it's not that great, for some reason. And I honestly don't have much else to say about it either. So would I recommend it? If you want to know more about Oscar Wilde, sure. It also sheds some light on what society looked like back then, and how far we've come, and how far we still got to go. So that aspect is interesting. But in general, I don't know how much most people would get out of this movie. So as much as it pains me to say this, probably skip this one. Or don't. I'm not your dad.